Hello everybody, welcome back to Elden Ring. In this one we're going to be taking on the roads and catacombs. To get here then, you're going to want to come south of the Revengers Shack. Where you hit the cliff, you're going to want to follow it along the western side. You will face a few bats, maybe grab yourself a weapon, uh, Ash of War, not weapon up. And come to the, to the catacombs just here. And you may be wondering to yourself, what am I supposed to do in here? We're going to go through kind of what most people will have probably done to start with. Wow. If we don't die <laughs> on the initial uh, startup here. These are kind of lethal, so just be careful of them. I can't believe that wasn't worth a repostable uh, move there. They seem to have nerfed that slightly, I have to say. So, of course, it kind of baits you with this very first switch just here, because you don't really know what it's opening. But we're going to switch it anyway. Now, if you have stereo headphones, you may notice that that was in that direction somewhere. Now, I'm sure there's people that are going to scream at me as I walk past this stuff, but I do just want to do the, um, the part that everybody would have done first before we get into the multitude of illusory walls that we have in here. I'm saying you're probably going to have come down this way. Got the Mr. Gargoyle here. I'm really looking at this weapon, thinking maybe I need to get the upgrades to send it a little higher. Big chunky weapon, it's taking a little bit too much of a swing. Now this should be your first clue that we have illusory walls in here. Excuse me, sir. No, I'm stuck. No, no, no. Don't get me stuck in there. That would be bad. Not even enough points to throw a freaking pile. We can all throw stuff, you know. Excuse me. That's so rude. just have to double check. Even when you've been through before, you have to double check. And that gets us our Rhea Lucaria Soldier Ashes. Now comes the test. Can I remember which order the invisible walls are in? Now there's one on each of these flat levels here, if I remember rightly. And it should be one right here. Yes. This one, we'll have another one here. Interesting, that was very uh, forgiving. I'm going to want to come around to the left, we'll have another gargoyly boy. Make sure you grab all of the ghost wart, ghost glove wart, this stuff is hyper valuable and all. And then we're going to want to come down this way. We'll have a loop. It kind of makes you think like you're at the end, but you are not. This is, in fact, where the boss room is. Clue the Chat America. It's very nice, isn't it? Uh, boss here is Spirit Collar Snail. Uh, it's kind of interesting. I don't think there's another one of these in the in the uh, in the boss fight either. So we're going to go in here. We're going to summon the walls because we want a distraction. There's going to be a big thing in front of us. That is not the enemy. Okay, that is not the enemy. We don't care about you. Let the wolves distract him. Instead, what you're looking for is this light glow on the ground. Okay, this is... Every time I've been in here, it's always been in this corner. But then once it's teleported, you can look around. He's looking for the white glow. Here we go, look. White glow. Hello, sir. Nice and easy. Greenstone Sorcerer Ashes. Slowly upgrading... Your summons. Anyway, that is going to be the end of this dungeon. Hopefully this helps you guys out, and I'll see you all in the next one.